welcome children on day 2 of this 14th session we will do money money conversion and money type sums then there is an mcq practice session you will uh, do it it is named as 2p so let's begin today's work question number 1 convert rupees into paise as you know whenever you are converting rupees into paise what are you doing you are multiplying the given number by 100 because rupee 1 is equal to 100 paise so here rupees 30 is equal to 30 into 100 is equal to 3000 paise now rupees 7.25 what you will do just erase that point so what you will get 725 yes so 725 passing because we will remove the point before two digits 350 passing convert into rupees yes whenever you are converting passing into rupees just put a point before last two digits so what you will get rupees 3.50 you have done these sums many a time so i hope you can do the mcq session very well now next question is solve rupees 36.50 plus rupees 27.50 so 0 plus 0 0 5 plus 5 10 0 you will write here one carried over 7 plus 6 13 plus 1 14 Four here you will write and one carried over. Three plus two five plus one six. So we will get rupees sixty four point zero zero. But it's equal to rupees sixty four because after decimal no use no need to write zero zero. Today's last sum rupees seventy five point three five into nine. Nine five sum forty five five will write here four carried over. Nine threes are twenty-seven plus four thirty-one. One you will write here um, three carried over. Nine fives are forty-five. Forty-five plus eight, uh, forty-five plus three, forty-eight. Eight you will write here four carried over. Nine sevens are sixty-three plus four sixty-seven. So yes, you will get rupees six hundred seventy-eight point one five. Means six hundred seventy-eight rupees and fifteen pesos. now children you do your mcq session there we have given money conversion money plus minus and multiplication all three kind of types of so goodbye have a great day